Hello, and welcome back to another exciting Let's Play of Quest for Glory 5, Dragonfire. When we last left off, uh, we were doing stuff and things. Actually, we were just kind of running around killing things and making money and building up a few skills. And exploring. Speaking of that, let's go eat, shall we? I'm sure Gnome Ann has uh, got quite the dish for us. So we need to get a thousand drachmas, which means I need to go out and kill a few more things and make some more money that way. Maybe I use the money, buy a few more spells. I don't know if there's any spells I really need, though. Today, All right. we are having macaroni and cheese. Plain old macaroni and cheese. I gave the cooks the day off. Um... I just subbed skin for the fourth time and now it worked. Either I'm dumb or point has other issues. Okay. Ah, I gotta respond to this. Dang it. It's a work thing. <sighs> yeah, I know. Wait. I, I think I already talked to her, right? We already hear your... Aloha, boy. Oh, God. Boy, you're a sight for sure, I, since I landed here. Let's do a reply make the thief sign that's really silly looking mm. a gnome no silly after all is that the latest dance craze looks like you need lessons happens um earlier today point was not working for anyone so there is a chance you got very lucky as it just started working again. Uh, keep in touch. Keep in touch and I'll take care of you. Take care of your issues. Works for me. Responding work emails in my free time. Wait, what? It's funny, honey, how I'd love to be with you. I've got this thing for you. Yeah, in your cheeks. I'm really into this. In fact, I was going to name this place the D Hotel. Welcome to D Hotel Calamira. You can enter any time you like, but you can never grieve, sort of thing. However, I decided to be more interesting. Okay, in the credits, we're going to have to see who is actually doing the writing for this game. Take it easy, Ryder. And by the way, I'm not a big fan of that California Hotel song, or Hotel California song. It's, uh, it's a good song. It's a great song, to be quite honest. But man, does it get played out. Like, there's, there's a lot of songs and bands that I just don't ever want to hear again in my life. And for those of you that love music, you're probably about to get mad at me, but I don't ever... I really don't ever want to hear the Ramones again. Like, maybe here and there every couple years. Because I've listened to them so much. I don't want to hear them ever again. I'll tell you right now, I do not ever want to hear... I want to be sedated again in my life. Because, like, anytime there's a movie trailer going on, they're going to play that. Or Blitzkrieg Bop. Or some of the other songs. But it's only like two or three songs. Like, Queen is the biggest offender here. I know it's very popular to be like, oh, yes, Queen, 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 Queen. Queen was a great band. Well, uh-oh. Three go- Oh, I can kill goons now. Uh, wait. How do I move? You better run. Queen is a great band, but they were largely forgotten until Wayne's World. And all of a sudden, people cared. Fantastic band, very theatrical. Yes, they won a lot of awards. You know, backing up the fact that they deserved that success. But hasn't... 
Hasn't Nickelback also won a lot of awards? All right, we're gonna run over here and we're going to heal. I mean, awards don't mean anything. It either means you played the game. The goon is a goner. What, and just like that, I got no money? I oh, don't be like that. But anyways, back to my thing, like ACDC, great band. I love their raw energy. But anytime I go to any bar, I'm gonna hear some ACDC. Ergo, I don't need to buy an album, ever. Wait, how do I change my walk speed again? I'm gonna figure this out. Oh, it was uh, Q? Yeah, wait. Nope. Alt, maybe. Wait, what the hell happened there? Oh, Lord! Okay. Just froze, and I thought the game froze with him. But yeah, anyways, there's a lot of great bands I just don't ever want to hear again, because it's gonna get played out every time. Now, how do I... Oh, God, the E button? Really? Okay, let's see the keyboard controls again. What's the difference between... Okay, Q is to, to sneak. X, chain screen, toggle compass. Control is the movement modifier. Shift is the run modifier. Well, I hit those. I'm quite certain. And I most certainly am. Okay, something happened. Controls, default movement, walk. There we go. We're going to want to walk. Save my stamina, you see? So, Southwest. Wait, yeah, this is Southwest. Where was her basket? There are several hostels hiding in this area. Ooh, maybe I should hide with them. Where is the... Oh, wait. Well, yeah, let's do detect magic. Nice. Your status as a hero makes you magical. Well, that's flattering. But yeah, just... Man, can y'all just go out and find new music to love? There's a lot of good stuff out there. I don't see any baddies, and I don't see any baskets hiding anywhere. Well then. I guess I'll just... leave? Sneak away into the night. <coughs> Let's see where the night takes me. Southwest. Maybe it's over here? Is this a point of interest or a village? Hmm. This is a nice little coastal town. Just much like any other fishing village. I see nary a basket, though. Thought there was one hiding out here somewhere. Maybe it's hiding in a, a house somewhere. Who knows? 
perhaps not. Yeah, I, I think perhaps not. And I got a response to the email already. Uh, following up, we'll do a minute now. I'm working so far. I hope I can finish this tonight. Why are you working so late at night, man? It's like 7.30. Everybody else is done for the day. Uh, maybe he works two jobs or something. I, I hate doing that, and I've done it before, and I don't ever want to do it again. I used to work three jobs. Three jobs. And I had a girlfriend and two bands. I was not a very happy man. <laughs> but I'm happy now that I do have free time and just one job. To entertain you all. With my hijinks. All right, all right, all right, all right. Maybe it's not a job. Maybe that's not what I'm getting paid for, but I'm glad that I have free time to go out there and kind of do what I want. Now, I've been doing some Yes Man thing. I forget if I talked about this already, but I've been doing some Yes Man stuff where I just leave and try not to be home. It's Monday. There's really nothing to do. So I'm going to be home. Tomorrow I'm going to pick up some food from the store and try to uh, cook and then go play a small acoustic show. Maybe go somewhere different and just see what's up. But I need to get out and go to new places. Man, there's nothing going on here. We'll just sneak back home, I guess. Y'all see any baskets? I see none. This building was whitewashed and rethatched just in time to be deserted. That is true. Are those baskets? These water buckets have been knocked about. Now they have many holes in them. Oh, she'll be so happy to get a knocked around bucket. These useless buckets have holes through them. You get the feeling that someone used them for practice. Well, this is lame. I guess I can't do anything with these coastal villages yet. Well, I guess we'll just stick around to killing monsters for fun. All right, all right, all right, all right. There's nothing to do here. Except I guess I can just watch my stamina go down. Now, what a very fine game this was. And by very fine, I mean I actually kind of, I actually am kind of enjoying it. I feel like it sort of wore out its welcome. It was a bit long, or at least the fun wore off. There's only a few vague things I do remember about it. Like I think I've gone back to play this a few times, and I only ever made it past like maybe one right of passage. And then I was like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. I've had my fun. How do I leave? Is it back here? It is back here. But, so this is, I think, going to be maybe the second or third time I've ever beaten this game. I remember some of the puzzles just being absolutely confusing, like, alright, what, what am I supposed to do? Don't make me figure this out. You're making me work for this, and I don't want to work for it. Oh, God. Three goons. Ooh. You got nothing. I don't even have to block against you. I'm just that good. Come on, goon. Yeah, Crusher in uh, Quest for Glory 1 would stand no chance against me now. Yay! 
healing pills. I'm actually making money pretty quickly, I got to say. You see a beehive that has been abandoned by the bees rather recently. Most of the honey is gone, but there is a lot of beeswax left behind. Alright, maybe I need to get this guy. Use. I, okay, I can't use it in that way, so let's put you there. Click. You take some wax from the beehive. And that's an exit. So it says, but I've yet to see it actually exit. Yeah, I'm calling malarkey on your whole exit lie. Wait, what? Oh, wow. <laughs> Depending on the direction I'm looking, even in here, it keeps track of uh, my compass, of my bearing. It really doesn't matter in the slightest, though, so that's silly. Actually, wait, I just realized something. I cannot rest for 60 minutes, can I? Or can I? I sure can. Wow, that really helped. Some very fine stamina. Let's heal ourselves and tiptoe through the tulips. The minor nuisance of two baddies. Click on him. I got him. Come on. This baddie is stupid. Whatever, I'm picking this thing up. You find nothing of value on the body. And then I'm just gonna swing this way. Swing, batty, 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 batty. Good enough for me. Give me a, um, a ghoul or something. Oh, like I care about y'all. I'm trying to click on the baddie. Whatever. Don't care. We're exiting. Can't be bothered. 599 drachmas. Nope. We're not fighting, y'all. Tired of you guys. Is that all there is in this game? How am I to be a big hero in a land with nothing but bats to fight? Maybe there's something down here. If not, then I'm just going to teleport back. And I got to call myself on my own bluff. Alright, we're back home. Sleep for eight hours. And we awaken from our slumber. All right, lady. Bring the slop on and tell me whatever sad excuse you cooked on up. Excuses cooked up is better than the food.
The soup for tonight is lobster brisk. Rover brought in a huge lobster for dinner, but Messy Tessie couldn't bear to drop the lobster alive into the boiling pot, so the cooks decided to get the lobster drunk first. Soon they were all singing Little Brown Jug with the lobster singing harmony. While Tessie was reaching for the barrel of beer, she knocked over the flower, which soon covered everything. So they gave the lobster a bath and a group hug for being such a good sport and turned him loose. Then they made the soup from his bath water. You eat it quickly, content that at least you didn't pay anything for the food. <sighs> Lady, you are so lucky Yelp does not exist. I am not amused by your antics. How am I doing on stats? See, how is off... Oh, because I got rid of my weapon. Defense is up. Stealth is going up rather quickly, I gotta say. Kind of impressed. Well, all right then. Um... Let's see if... No. Let's see if there's anything going on at the arena. And wait this very long time for me to sneak, sneak, sneak over there. Am I really even going to need that sneak skill? Who cares? We're doing this for completion's sake. Yep. Riveting gameplay. Maybe I should eat dinner tonight, but I'm probably just going to eat more handfuls of peanuts. Because that's full of protein. I had a co-worker make something, I forget what, he was, what it was called. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Let's save. Since apparently this game does not have an autosave feature. Hmm, excuse me. What am I thinking of? Uh, I got distracted by the almost game crash. So where's this lost basket at? Was it under the help wanted or wanted help? Uh-huh. Nope. Get over here. But yeah, oh, that's right. That's what I was saying. So I had a coworker make some food where it's supposed to like, let's see. The metal grate cannot be moved. There's a sign on the arena entrance that says that there will be a combat competition tonight at 8. The doors will open at 6 for this evening. So come back at 6. Oh, hello, friend. Greetings, my friend. I sense that your adventures in Mordavia have altered you. You seem more mature and wise, but there is some sorrow in your soul. The price for being a hero is sometimes costly. Take some time to relax and enjoy yourself in Silmaria. I do not believe there will be any great disasters until the rites of rulership begin. Once they do start, you will have need of all your skills to determine the truth behind what goes on here. That reminds me, you left a few things behind when you were summoned away from us in Tarna. I have brought Soulforge, the paladin sword that I gave you when you took oath as a paladin. However, I sense you have another paladin sword, the equal of Soulforge. If you do not object, I will keep Soulforge. I may have need of it in Silmaria. I will yeah, return go for the it. sapphire pin you always wore. I could sense the magic of friendship which it contained. Awesome, that kata pin was amazing. Talk to Rakish. Let's uh, go through his whole thing. Actually, let's tell him about Mordavia. Man, you will not believe Mordavia. It grieves me to learn of Irana's death, but at least her soul is free. She was a wizard with the soul of a paladin, 
and she brought kindness and joy to the world. It was good that you were there to give her peace. Yeah, you know. I am honored to see you again, my dear friend. I was summoned here by my son, Chakra, who has made this island his home. We are a long way from Tarna. My life mate, Krisha, will be pleased to learn that you are well, and now in Samaria. Ah, uh, Krisha's here. Tarna's enjoying the peace you brought to our land. Your friends, Yesufu and Yahari, are married now. And Yuhura's child grows strong and proud like his mother. You were missed there. Oh, I remember Yusufu and uh, Joe. Yeah, Yusufu was, um, he was the Simbani leader's kid. And he married the lady that I is my bride. Uhara, I don't think we see Uhara in this game, which is a shame. Because once again, she was not my favorite character for personality or whatever. But throughout the whole series, she's the one just from Quest for Glory 2 that I, I really kind of bonded with. Like, personally bonded with in the real world. Because I spent so much time training with her and fighting with her. And kind of talking to her. Ask about Krisha. Krisha has a new apprentice she is instructing in the magical arts. Or she would have joined us here. She said there is a strong magic surrounding this island. Strong magic. With Chakra about that. Chakra has his own magic shop in the town square, and I am staying with him there. It has been a while since I had last seen him, and he has grown much. Thank you, John Redcorn. There are too few paladins in this world, my friend. The path of selfless goodness is difficult to travel. Hold in your heart the truths for which we stand. We bring peace where there is war. We must show mercy to our defeated enemies. We fight for justice rather than revenge. Let your sword be guided by your wisdom and your actions guided by your heart. Heart. I believe that much of the problems in Samaria are masking a greater evil. Too many things have happened recently. The assassination, the invasion, sea folk declaring war. I am certain they are tied in some way. Silmaria needs a ring of truth to uncover the lies that hide here. The ring of truth is a magical device hey. that only a paladin can make. Or so I have been told. I have never made one myself. I know of it from the paladin who first gave me a sword and set me upon the path of righteousness. A ring of truth is made from the ring of a true king. It must be forged in the blood of a dragon and consecrated by the blood of a paladin. Lastly, it must be tempered by the waters of binding. When these things have been completed, then shall a ring of truth be made. When a lie is spoken in its presence, it will glow. By this, you can prove the guilt of one who would deceive you. I fear that Silmaria will need this ring to banish the falsehoods. Yeah, Ferrari better watch out. I'm on to him. The island of Marit has been invaded by an army of Hesperian mercenaries. Samaria has no army, and while the city is well defended, the island was not. If you travel beyond the city gates, you may encounter those fierce warriors. I arrived not long after King Justinian had been killed by the assassin. Judging from the evidence, the assassin has the skills of a thief, for he scaled several walls and avoided many guards. Chakra says that magic was used also, but he does not believe that the assassin is a spellcaster. The poison the assassin used is deadly. It is death to any who are touched by it, unless an antidote is given within seconds. Even then, the poison cannot be cured, and only the strongest will survive the coma it brings. Oh dear. Ask about war. For several months now, the ships of Silmaria have been under attack by the Tritons. Yep. Half men, half fish, sea folk. Fishing and sea trade with other kingdoms have ceased. John Marit Redcorn. Have been isolated from the outside world, except for magic. He speaks exactly like John Redcorn. I promise you. Ask about Logos. And I'm sure it's going to open up a new dialogue tree. The centaur and I have remained good friends over the years. He is a wise counsel, 
and has guided two kings in Somaria. He will soon guide a third when the rites of rulership are over. King Justinian was a good ruler for this land. He ruled for almost 20 years, and Somaria has flourished. The rites of rulership are a series of quests to prove the worth of those who would be king. The quests vary, depending upon the needs of the kingdom. Logos and I will be determining what those rights shall be. Okay, calm down. If you decide to pursue the truth, speak to Logos about the king's ring. You should be able to get into the Hall of Kings by telling the guards that I sent you. Go with honor, my friend. Yes, and we will respect your honored traditions. Let's sneak over there. Personally, I liked my voice I did for him. I know my microphone isn't as good as the voice actor, but I really did envoy, enjoy doing his deep voice. He was a much wiser person. He spoke with more certainty. <clears throat> Let's uh, examine the platform. Carefully studying this contraption, you are certain that, the mag that magic was used to create this area. Even the pillars have a strangeness about them. Well, how do we... Oh, hell. Let's just kick it. You hear the hum of magic. Oh. Oh. You have the dizzy feeling you aren't Silmaria anymore. My, what a big nose you have. This cloud looks very much like a face. What big eyes you have. My, what a big mouth you have. Oh, yeah, all the better to uh, <clears throat> make love to you with, my dear. He that wishes to pass through me first must answer questions three. What is your name? Brit, King Arthur of Pendragon, Putentain, Sir Robin the Not-So-Brave. Say, oh no, not again. Brit. What is your quest? To save Silmaria, to save money, to rule the world, to find the perfect cup of tea, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Let's say Silmaria. What is the meaning of life? Uh, 42. We learned that in the first game. To, or we could say to respect great wizards and fulfill their every desire. Ours is not the reason why. Ours is but to do and die. It's actually do or die. He that dies of the most toys still dies, and this is a stupid question. 42. You are correct. You may pass. Lucky for us. Alright. Let me just cram myself down your esophagus here and we'll all be happy. Other than a slight dizziness at the height and the potential for falling, there isn't any true danger here. This strange place is obviously the home of your wizard friend Erasmus. This building floats in the air. Oh well, I guess everything here floats in the air. These huge doors are oddly shaped, but what else is any different? These marvelous dragons seem like it was carved from the shape of metal and carefully painted. Then again, maybe this is just a monster magically mutated to metal. Let's talk to the dragon. The sound of your fist hitting the metal reverberates tremendously. Examine the doors. These huge wooden doors have metal rings attached to their centers. Heavy chains run from the door rings to the large rings in the mouths of the two dragons which flank the doors. The doorknobs are made of gold. Listen to the doors. You hear a curious whistling noise as if air were rushing around. Then again, it might just be the wind. Let's knock on the door and be polite. Doors magically begin to open. Are y'all as excited as I am? I've got a chub. I'm so excited. And we're flying through the air. What is this? Can I interact with you? Sure is a long way to fly. Up. 
down. Wait. And a popcorn machine. See, I felt a strong connection to this game when I got it because I worked at at the time I worked at a movie theater. This popcorn machine is popping a plenty. Can I eat from it? Greetings, or, my friend. I guess not. It is so nice to see you. What a dialogue. Fenris ex ignores you while he casts a spell. Erasmus is a little informal about the way he dresses. He looks like he's either forgotten to wear pants or else his robe's shrunk in the wash. Ask about Silmaria. <laughs> Look at these robes. It looks like a penis. All limp and floppy. Since all the trouble started in Silmaria, people have been leaving like rats deserting a ship. Hey, I resent that remark. It promotes negative stereotypes of my racial species. You millennial. I'm a member of Rabid. Rodents against boring idiosyncratic <laughs> discrimination. Our slogan is, Rat is where it's at. But you're okay with being called a rodent. Ask about rights of rulership. The rights of rulership are a series of quests designed to determine the next king of Silmaria. Interesting custom, really. He who quests with zest and bests the rest will own the throne for his home. Ask for a joke. I, I know we're asking for trouble, really, by doing this. Would you like to hear a joke? I'm always happy to tell one. What style is Baba Yaga's handwriting? I didn't know she could write. Of course she can. She uses cursive. Ha! <laughs> Would you like to hear a joke? I'm always happy to tell one. What style is Bobby? I did off. Mm -hmm. Leaving so soon? Farewell, my friend. And I hope you will enter the right of rulership. <clears throat> Gotta go, hero. Don't be late for your date with fate, mate. Can I have tea? Cannot have tea. All right. This was a big waste of time. Fenris doesn't let me touch him. I want to touch you, Fenris. And we'll sneak away. Intelligence 424 for some reason. Talking to him did should not raise your intelligence. Still way better than Arvindel in uh, Heroine's Quest. And away we go! So, I, I traveled up to Austin the other day to go spend time with my dad and my brother. It was a fine, very fine time. We sat down and we watched a Laurel and Hardy movie. Because, well, we thought that uh, we were going to go see a Laurel and Hardy movie. There's a biopic that came out that took place after their uh, movie career. Like, after they were like, look, we're done. We're done with Hall Roach. We're We're retired. And it turns out that the movie is only playing in Los Angeles and in New York. So, unfortunately, we were ill-informed. <clears throat> Somebody, my dad, didn't know. And my brother <clears throat> didn't check up on him. And I guess I, guess I should share some blame for, for believing in them. Shame on me. Calm spell, 300. Hide spell. Oh, right. Uh, Levitate, 341. Where is... My... Flame Dart. Cast. Oh, wait. Can I just, like... I sure can. Noise. Look at that. That's going to be useful. Very useful. 
Very useful indeed. Wow, everything's just kind of going up quickly. It's like they know that you're not going to practice anymore. And yet, here I am, practicing like a frugal. Doop, 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 bim, 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 hmm, 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 boom, 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 That's sneaky music right there. Or I could do the Peter Griffin thing. Dun 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 Okay, let's go in here and talk to these butt nuggets some more. About the nuggets they have falling out of their butts. Actually, it's more about the Ring of Truth, is what we'll be asking them about. So, let's save. Oh, I see how that happened earlier. Sober at dash two. Yay! No one may enter the Hall of Kings until all the contenders have fully funded the right of rulership. Go to hell. Hall of Kings, I have things to say to you. The guard uh, uh, nods his head in response very curtly. Ask about guard. We do not converse on duty. Ask about duty. Our duty is to guard the Hall of Kings. Tell about Rakesh's words. Logos is expecting you. You may enter. Damn straight. We are honored to have another paladin in our city. Rakesh has spoken of your deeds in Tana and Shapir. You have truly earned the title. I have a sense of underlying danger in Zomaria. I believe that the aid of the Prince of Sharpir will be necessary here. I also have a premonition that we will have need for a Ring of Truth. A Ring of Truth? I thought those existed only in folk tales. They are rare, and only a paladin can make one. It requires four parts. The Ring of a Rightful Ruler, forged in the blood of the Earth, purified by the blood of a paladin, and bathed in the waters of binding. The ring seems impossible. Where does one find Earth's blood or water of binding? Those answers are the essence of the quest. My friend, will you strive to create a ring of truth? Um, I sure will. I, I, I just want to talk to you about one thing. A big ol' oh. There's a hole in my heart where you used to go. There's a hole, big ol' hole. And a hole, and a hole. Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> Agree to make the ring. Thank you for accepting this quest. It will be dangerous, I am certain. And full of glory. Yes, though, we will need a king's ring. I do wear the ring from Justinian, the last king of Selmaria. It was not forged in the blood of the earth, though. The ring can be reforged. Logos, I really believe that this will aid Selmaria. Very well. I give you the ring of Justinian. You now bear the king's ring. I wish you luck with it. You will need luck, my friend and all the wisdom and valor that lies within you. Farewell. Hey, you are escorted by the guards through the corridors of the Hall of Kings and eventually let out of the gate. So I got the king's ring. Worn by the last king of Silmaria. All right, Rakesh, are you standing over here? Lazing in the sun still? Uh, no!
All right, I guess all I can do is tiptoe, talk to a cat, and then tiptoe back, and we will do a fight in the arena. Probably still only have 599 drachmas, so I need to earn some more money. Killing more monsters and people and looting their corpses. Like the disturbed individual that I am. But hey, children give me a thumbs up on the street and women swoon at me as I goose walk on by. So I must be doing something, right? All right, enjoy my catapen, yo. And I should get my pickpocket skill up. I heard you can make a lot of money in the game by pickpocketing people. I don't know if it's true. Welcome, friend, to all katas. May that pin be ever the sign of friendship between us. Yes, you should respect that. Sell something. Nah, I'm gonna hang on to the beads. I already talked to you. Welcome and good day. How may I please you? I am pleased, as always, to speak with you. I can't please you. There is a rumor that the last king of Silmaria was murdered. It is a very sad thing, for he was a good ruler. May your journey be ever to your liking. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead... and try that pickpocket knife. Uh-oh. With a... Uh, with the deft twitch of the pickpocket knife, you unfortunately snag the material, dropping your knife and all the money to the ground. Really smooth. Well, I didn't get caught. That's all that really matters. Wait, my mana's maxed out again already? There's a hole in my pocket where my money should go. A big ol' hole. Alright, let's sneak over towards him. And see what we can't do. We're gonna... We're gonna really get this uh, up there. Still 398 already. It's not gonna take that much time and effort. It's just going to take... Well, okay. What did I say? Time and effort? Okay, it's not going to take that much effort. But it will be worthwhile, maybe. At some point, maybe. I really don't know. I don't remember. All I know is it's my stream and I'm doing it. Maybe I'll make some pizza poppers or eat some peanuts and then uh, maybe go out. What can I sell you? Probably not going out, though. Yeah. And I've got two of them. Can I sell you for 53 each? You think I'm made of money? I wish you were made of money. More. We got a deal. We got a deal. <laughs> we are sober man and child and addicted to our duty. Oh, little buttercup, oh, little buttercup. Dun, 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 dun. What never, no never, what never. To the island in the deep and the sea. That stupid part in The Simpsons is still stuck in my head. It's enough to make me want to Kurt Cobain myself. Hefting with your hefty pack, you hoof your way towards the town. Well, you know me, I'm hefty, hefty, hefty. I am certainly not wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Will you speak on my great catapen? Oh, friend of my people, it is always a pleasure to see you. What can I sell to you today? I remember the days when the sea was filled with sailors 
and the dock was covered with fresh calamari and mackerel. I miss the fish. They say that after the king died, people wanted to make Logos the centaur, ruler of this land. He refused, saying that the right of rulership would bring forth the finest possible new king. May your day be filled with pleasures and surprises, O Prince. In other words, he said, you don't want an idiot like me in charge. And let me get past you. Fwend. All right, on the way to the arena, we're going to sign up and maybe do a fight. <laughs> I've got 715. I'm saving up for the rights of rulership, but I mean... Oh, wow. Yeah, my, my honor could use it. I didn't know you could bribe the guard. Actually, I really don't remember that much about this game, so... I'm not going to say it's all new to me, but I will say it is all new-ish. And good evening! How have you been, friend? Good to see you again. All right. Now we just wait the 30 minutes. Tiptoe in a circle. Is Rakesh over here? I don't think he is. I think he's only out there in the uh, like afternoon, like noon. Yeah, he's not there. And who knows if this game is advanced enough to have this thing open while I'm here. We will see in about, oh, 12 minutes. This is a weirdly 3D rendered world. This is definitely whenever 3D graphics were in their tween ages. And put out by a developer that really didn't know much about 3D at the time. Ah, there it is. Did you see it open? Fantastic animation. Alright. We're in the scary arena. I hope we can beat people up. Welcome to the Grand Arena of Silmaria. Today's champion, Kokino Pukamiso. Today's challenger, no challenger. Match canceled. Poppycock. I want a piece of this action. Greet Abdum. No one challenged Kokino. No fight now. Ask about fight. No one challenged Kokino. No fight now. No one challenged Kokino. No fight now. He's a very simple minded man. No fight. No fee, go home. Well, I want to fight you, friend. The door is solidly sealed shut. No free views of the arena battle for you today. Maybe this book will do the trick? Maybe not. The box office to the arena seems to be closed right now. This door is solidly sealed shut. Look, buddy, I want to fight. Eh, fine. We're not sneaking out of here. Match cancel. What's the matter with you? So we actually do need to head to... Oh, I have to sign up for the competition at least a day in advance uh, from the billboard in the tavern. Well, then that's what we'll do. Maybe I can earn some more drachmas there. Yeah, now this whole game was definitely very bizarre. It never really felt like it belonged anywhere. Not terrifically executed. 
and not terrifically written. It gotcha. If you Yeah, I know. All right. It's a fine night to be sailing, mate. Welcome aboard. It better be. Today's entry fee, 538. Well, I have that. So what's what's the deal with this again? Oh, no. Wait, what am I doing? I, I don't even see my cards, man. <laughs> what, what do you mean, what's at stake? I mean, like, the whole island is at stake. But... Ah, oh, fuck, what do I do? Full. What is this? Alright, alright. We're gonna save scum. Because I have no idea what's going on here. Fold to get out of the contest call? You don't have enough money to make this bet. I have no idea what I just did, but all I know is that it cost me money. Perhaps not the smartest thing I could have done. Yeah, I kind of feel like that too, because, um... Aw, oh, it's closed for the night. Because in the first game, there was no extraordinary danger. Then the second one, you're dealing with elementals. Then in the third one, it's you kind of alone for a good part of the game. Out in the fields. And then in the fourth game, you're entirely, entirely by yourself. And then in the fifth game, this one, everybody's here. And you get a lot of help. Can I bribe this guard? Is this the guard you're talking about? Abdul, happy to take bribe. Abdul, happy to take bribe. Abdul, happy to take bribe. <laughs> hey, you're right. Abdul, happy to take bribe. Abdul, happy to take bribe. Abdul, happy to take bribe. Abdul, happy no kidding. To take Abdul, happy to take bribe. Abdul, happy. That sounds like Abdul, an amazing way to Abdul, make money. Abdul, we'll give that a Abdul, shot. Abdul, 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 Abdul I can use. Abdul, <laughs> How does bribing him Abdul, give me honor? Abdul, 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 it absolutely Abdul, should not. Abdul, 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 Holy strength ability. Abdul, 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 Abdul. You know what? I like your idea way better than just like me going in here and throwing Abdul, a bunch of daggers. The awe ability. Abdul, 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 Abdul. 481, we're almost there already. The stats in this game go up incredibly quick, don't they? There we go. Where's that last ability? Where's that last ability? What? How high can a man's honor go? We'll stop at 600. Abdul. Abdul. Happy. Abdul. 
600 seems like a good limit. The things I do for honor. Oh God! Come on! Come on! Wait a minute! I'm not even unlocking any new abilities. Well, whatever. We'll try 600 anyway. Actually, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Get in there. Dingus. Oh, awe is the last ability. Man, you really know your quest for glory. And bounce off the walls like a pinball. You lost one bet for 60 drachma. Oh, Magnum won, huh? Well, I will challenge you. Day five, and I would like to place a bet on myself. You do not have enough cash in your backpack, so set the drop. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, wait, no, we're good. All right, Kokino. Wait, what? What is this? There is a strange free-floating vapor uh, glides through here. There is... Nope, come back. There's the impression of someone trapped in deep sorrow. What are you about, friend? What? And it all goes dark. I'm glad I solved that crisis. All right, let's go rush out into danger. Why not? Wait, really? Uh, it's probably cut content is what it is. It's like that ghost that was in part four. Like you're in the Mordavia castle and you're going up the stairs and a ghost comes out of nowhere. That was cut content. You're supposed to be able to do something with it, but time constraints and all that. All right, before we make a goober move, let's save and go totally north. Can I just... Yeah. Traverse over mountains like it's nobody's business. I'm not fighting baddies. Baddies are annoying. Is this where the dragon is? Can I kill the dragon right now? You have no doubt that this is a very dangerous place. There's a strong radiant evil coming from that temple. Um, yeah. We will come back to you later. Cougar men! I like cougar women. No! Oh, poppycock. Wow, these cougar men are strong. Kinda. But I am a paladin. So that means nothing to me. Yep, come on now. No, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, no, you don't.
And there we go, beautiful. Yes, yes, very nice, very nice. Wow, you feel like you just gulped an espresso. An espresso. Hello, Pegasus. Oh, crud. Alright, let's hope I got what it takes. It looks like I do. Yeah, I totally got what it takes. Wow, I've got a lot of these bad boys. Come on. Use it. Come, come now. Don't exit. If you exit, I will commit Harikari. Yeah. And he dies. The weirdling has succumbed. 73, that's not bad. Magic chainmail, just like the man said. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, frostbite. Right, 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 right. Where did she go, frostbite? I actually, yeah, I did build this uh, spell up for a reason, didn't I? Yeah, we'll just put you there. And eat some pills. Looks lovely to me. And since I'm I'm up here. Armor class 25. 20. Well, we're gonna spoil ourselves. Alright, let's make magic happen. Mm-hmm. Wow. Holy crap. Wow. You are not kidding. That's not even a challenge. Well, what do I need a sword for? Oh, and it stacks. Nice. Uh-huh. Hey, y'all need to calm down. Oh, I think I'm ready to fight a dragon. Yeah, I'm totally ready to fight a dragon. I guess I should go to sleep at some point. Ah, fine, we'll do it now. We got that fight later. And I want to be somewhat decent for it.
I believe it. That's ridiculous. The amount of damage that was doing and it stacks. All right, let's hear Gnome Anne's sad excuses for her sad cooking. She really needs to get her staff under control. All right, get up. You'll get me the food that I'm sure has been sitting out for about three hours. That came out terrible. Today's treat is goop soup with cabbage. It was supposed to be spaghetti and meatballs, but Rover threw a cabbage at Tony Maloney and it fell in the sauce. Then Tony threw the meatballs back at Rover, but Rover dodged them and they hit Sal instead, so she dropped all the spaghetti. Oh that no! Was a problem, but Tessie slipped on the spaghetti while she was carrying the carrot salad, so that went everywhere. Oh when God! Around, everything was mixed up, so they picked up what they could salvage and put it all in with the sauce and cabbage. They just added some water and salt, and voila! A meal you won't find anywhere else. You eat this as rapidly as you can, trying not to think about the taste or the ingredients. First chance I get, I'm calling Gordon Ramsay on you. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm going to be calling uh, Oswald on you. Get you sorted out. So let's see. Can I cast spells in public? Maybe. Sure looks like it. It's gonna round around spitting all over everything. That's how heroes do. He did say he was coming to Solmaria. I'm looking forward to him. I guess... Okay, so I thought he was supposed to perform at Gnome Anne's Inn. Like, I remember there being some entertainment there at some point. There's something about me being able to dance as well. I don't know. All right, let's go in there and spit all over the uh, the gladiator. I'll certainly set everybody straight. Show them who's boss. All right, here's a fight. Oh, who are you? Magnum has the air of extreme confidence and arrogance. His modesty underwhelms you. I, Magnum Opus. The valiant, peerless spearman of the Roman Empire shall prove the superiority of my skills in battling the fighter known as Abdul. We'll get to you after the fight. Ask about Magnum fight. Fight, good fight. Magnum fight, Magnum fight, good fight. Well, I'm, I'm here to fight. Greetings. You are fortunate to bask in the brilliance of my presence. Oh, my acrobat stat? I think it's being affected by my armor. I am Magnum Opus, wondrous warrior of the Roman Empire and artist extraordinaire. My body is my canvas, and it is a true masterpiece. This will not be a fight, but a spectacle of my brilliance and an ignoble defeat for all who dare challenge my wondrous skills. You may leave my presence if you so desire. No, trust me, it's hard to. <clears throat> I'm here to fight. Let me fight. Oh, really? 
How annoying! I guess there's a reason why I never really understood how this worked. Well, okay then. And such a long way out of town, too. I'm not a very good hero right now. I mean, I think I've done absolutely one thing that got me points. The rest has been around, like running around talking, building the characters for the playthrough and everything. Let's get Sneak going. Stealth, 456. Paladin Thief indeed. Man, I hate that whole system. <laughs> I am the most noble thief there ever was. It got yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll be back. Okay, let's go ahead and go get some more uh, of that magic armor and sell it and make some fat cash. Ah, oh, but I, I signed up for the fight yesterday. I thought that meant I could fight today. Oh, no, 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 no. I see. I see what you're saying. Tokino had nobody to fight. I thought I could just sign up the next day to fight, but that is not the case. Oh, run! Bats! Terrifying critters. They carry rabies. My way is blocked. Stupid baddies. Oh, I see. All right, all right, thank you. Hey, I'm gonna punch you to death. Just cause I can. Alright, that's taking damage. <laughs> yeah, that frostbite spell is, uh, that's the money shot right there. I just started this game, and I'm already killing the most dangerous monsters. All right, weirdlings. Ooh. We have a weirdling. Oh, 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 I don't have enough mana. There's a flaw in my plan. That's okay, I have a backup plan. It's the one where I just stab him to death. Oh no you don't. Not today, Satan. And there he goes. It's fine, very fine. Very fine. Yeah, get them both at the same time. Come on, kill him. Put him out of his misery. He doesn't like being alive. I guarantee you. Oh, there we go. Oh wow, I punched a weirdling to death. Oh god, I almost died. Well, that would have been very embarrassing for him. Killing the hero of the land and all that. Uh, 
Thanks, you needed that. Uh, let's go ahead and rest an hour. I can believe it. Like, the kid just kind of drew whatever, and they said, yeah, that's fine. It's like Axe Cop all over again. Like, do we really need things to make sense? I mean, kind of not really. Kind of not really. I mean, I like the T-Rex with the minigun arms and uh, the sunglasses. Come on. Ugh. Don't you see my catapin that I'm wearing? I'm your friend, damn it. You will be my friend, or you will be my victim. All right, excellent, excellent. This is going swimmingly, y'all. Weird. Why would they go with what a fan drew? Uh oh. It's getting to be daylight. You're getting hungry. Here we go, weirdlings. Here we go. Mm mm. Well, now I'm just curious. Hello, friend. Oh. I do not have enough mana to cast that spell. Come on. You got nothing. You got nothing on me. This is what I live for. I've been holding this in since part one when Crusher kicked my ass repeatedly. You think I wasn't mad in part four when I couldn't kill them either in the castle? You're wrong. Dead wrong. All right, all right, all right. We'll go back to the city. Mana potions? I don't know. Yeah, maybe I should. Sleep eight hours. I definitely should, if that's all I'm going to be spamming. I mean, I already got everything I need for the tournament, though. Well, a blissful night of slumber. All right, sneak down there. How are we doing on our skills? I feel like, okay, well, strength has gone up. Offense is going up pitifully. Eh. Why does my magic, oh, right, right. Magic is at 207. So if I get rid of that guy, magic jumps up to that. And if we get to the equipment and get rid of, wait. If we get to equipment and remove you and you. Hey, wait, I have a pen. King's ring. Can I? I actually can equip, equip that. Does it do anything? I don't know that it does. Beaded necklace? No. Anyways, yeah, acrobat goes up if I'm not wearing armor. However, I want to wear armor. My magic skill is still garbage, but you can thank part three for that. Ugh, now we're fully armored to the teeth. Ready to deal with any gnome that may serve us shite food at premium prices. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. While she does her thing.
Today's special is something I think you'll really love. Well, maybe not love exactly. More like, um, well, you'll find it interesting. It's garlic smashed potatoes and pistachio cream. Tessie was making baked potatoes and ice cream for dessert. But Tony, who was juggling the garlic, slipped on the banana that my gal Sal dropped. Tony's garlic landed on the potatoes, and Tony landed on Tessie. Tessie landed on the potatoes, and they were really smashed. So that was okay. Then Rover found that Tessie had set the ice cream on the stove, and it had all melted. Fortunately, no one likes smashed potatoes without gravy, so things worked out just fine. <coughs> All right, we're back in the action here. So what, what did I miss? Did, did she serve me um, beef wellington? A nicely cooked steak? Was I fed sushi? We'll just assume it was a, a lovely meal. We can pray it was a lovely meal because every time she serves a meal, all we can do is pray. as whatever parasites are still thriving in the food she is serving, prey upon my intestines in lower tract. So, okay, my idea is I just want to get one more magic chain mail so I can sell that and then we can begin the rites of passage, I believe. And see how that goes down. Maybe? Maybe. Seven. Uh-huh. That's it for you. And there it is. Come on, come on, come on. Don't disappoint. We need another one for posterity. Posterity. Damn you. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's put that away and let's go to the Thieves Guild. We're going to practice... That dummy, actually, yeah, pickpocketing is going up all right, at an all right pace. I've heard that that can actually pay quite a bit of cash. Not that it pays as much as selling magic armor, but... You know, why not? Why not? Why not? Jeez. After this... I think we'll be doing some quest for infamy, and then we will maybe get into the new Just Cause that came out. It got Wait, so if I leave, can I just come back in? And then it'll already be changed? Yeah. I think I can totally just do this in one night. And tonight is as good a night as any. At 180. You know what I haven't done in a while? Save. Let's 
Let's get that under control here. Wow. Am I at 200 yet? Maybe. Okay, that's it. I'm done with this. If it ever becomes important, then we will build that skill up, but I really never remember it being worth anything. Perhaps. Nah. Now we're going to go to sleep. We're going to sell the magic chainmail. I'm going to pick this lock. You try to pick the lock. What? Get out of here. I got this. What do you mean I can't pick the lock? I'm a hero, damn it. I'm a rather damn fine thief. Alright, 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 alright. We'll just use the key. Gee whiz. Okay. Uh, pick the lock. And sleep until... Let's just do the eight hours. Safe enough. Some food would go nicely right about now. Man, I miss the days when I could just go out and eat out any time I wanted. I was making like $300 a day, and my rent was $300. <laughs> ah, but now I have a quote-unquote real job. And not just some shady under-the-table under, under the table stuff. $300 a day, seriously. The cooks have fixed something really special. Pancakes topped with fruit. They started to make a salmon souffle, but they didn't have any salmon. They did get a good deal from Andre on some anchovies, though. Sal wanted to make a blueberry pie, but Merrick was selling bananas and grapes, so she made those into a pie instead. Just as Rover was taking the souffle out of the oven, Tony called Tessie a frumpy old toadstool. Oh! She threw the pie at him. She got him square on the face, and the fruit pie pan fell on the souffle, squashing it flat. So now we have anchovy pancakes and baked fruit. Hope you like it. Uh. Oh boy. Gnome Anne and her antics. I actually don't like her that much as a character. I think she's more annoying than anything. Okay. So it's time to stop joshing around. Actually, maybe I should josh a little bit more. I should get my strength up. as we enjoy the awesome music. Ah, yes. Good stuff, good stuff. So, how is the walking here different than the walking he does across mountains? Somehow this is more strenuous. Strength is at 500. Well, we're done with the Adventurer's Guild for now, then. Yeah, yeah. And so we rest an hour. And we're solid. Called them a frumpy old toadstool. What's the matter with this world? Either the bar is open early or late. I am not sure which. Let's 
Sweet. Let's just do that. This magical armor is lighter than normal chainmail, but will protect against any weapon blow. All right, let's try 1,200 because I don't feel like clicking a bunch. Hey, beautiful work, friend. I guess we will buy some mana potions. Hmm. But yeah, I just... I do feel like this, uh... This story doesn't really match. And also this setting. They've had Silmaria planned for a long time, but it feels like an odd duck. All right, what you got, friend? Welcome again to the magic shop. Uh, I cannot sell you anything. Purchase something. Magic charm bracelet. Nah. I can rest in peace. Being a prudent spellcaster, I should have this. I thank you for doing business. A magical energy that will explode when something approaches within 10 feet. Wow, that's an expensive spell. Uh, 375, because I'm a jerk. I thank you for doing business with me. And a shrewd negotiator. Already got juggling lights, resistance, dazzle, fascination. And I don't think I need any of those. Wait. 80 versus 10. Can I do 10? And then just offer you 55? Yeah, that's doable. I thank you for doing business with me. Beautiful. And we're in good shape. We're in great shape, really. The best shape there ever was. So now we drag my sorry ass down to the... Was it to the bank? I think to the bank. Which was the other direction. But it's a small city, so it doesn't matter. You know how those Greek cities were. They built everything very circular and small, so as that way people with dementia could not get lost. Makes sense. Hi, how is it going? Make some more money to save? It still blows my mind that this guy was the bum in the first game. Make transaction. Okay, before I do this... In case I get any fancy ideas later on. Make a transaction. Congratulations! You're fully vested in the right of rulership. Make your way to the Hall of Kings, and I'm sure they will set up the ceremony soon. A drachma saved is a drachma earned. I have no idea why I would use the bank. All right. You'll do fine, <laughs> I'm sure. You've got the stuff of heroes, so don't worry. Yeah, sure, you'll be facing terrible monsters, overwhelming odds, and almost certain death. But it's all in the line of duty. Who knows, you may even be Silmaria's next king. Yeah, and that job better pay at least a thousand drachmas. Just go up to the guards outside the Hall of Kings. I'll let them know you're coming. They'll be happy to let you in now. Hey, the Hall of Kings is a great place for a celebration. All the bigwigs will be in the audience. You'll get to stand before Logos and Minos and the rest of the entrants for the rites. It will be a great event, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. Ask about Logos. I always forget Logos is a centaur, because you never really see his bottom half. The centaur has been an advisor and spokesman, a uh, spokescreature, for the kings here for a while. He saves here regularly. A great guy. He understands the value of an investment. 
Nice. Minos does a lot of advising around here, although he doesn't really live in Silmaria. Supposed to have a big place on some island off the north coast. He said to have a lot of money, but you wouldn't know that by me. He sure doesn't keep any drachmas here. I don't know why anybody does. The Hall of Kings awaits you, kid. I'm sure you'll do swell. Man, I've really helped that guy out. He used to be a bum. And now... Now just look at him. He's a bank owner. Giving him money all the time. You over here, Rakesh? You got anything to say to me, buddy? Nope. Erasmus has nothing to say to me. Ah. Let's sneak over there. Maybe the guards won't notice me. Alright, alright. Maybe I'm stat building. So, tomorrow I'm going to sign up for the fight. And I'm going to compete and I'm going to win. Is there even a point for me to win all the fights? Oh, yeah, the you guards totally noticed me. Hall of Kings now. <laughs> I'm not as slick as I thought I was. The king of Selmaria is dead, and the kingdom mourns his loss. We are gathered here to determine the future of this land through rites of ancient ritual and tradition. By the rites of rulership, heroes will prove their worth. By the rites of rulership, Selmaria will arise from the ashes of mourning, like the phoenix rises to the sun. By the rites of rulership, a new king will ascend to the throne of this land. Who here is worthy to compete in the rites of rulership? God, a shining example of the triumph of science over superstition, is more than worthy to lead Selmaria to a rational, logical future. God has been named as a contender. I want Dr. Cranium! Who else is worthy to compete in the rites of rulership? Elsa von Spielberg has proven herself to be a leader and a hero lands to the north. She is quite capable of becoming the first woman king of Silmaria as well. I, Minos, counselor to Silmaria, am proud to sponsor her. Still. Elsa von Spielberg has been named as a contender. Who else is worthy to compete in the rights of rulership? Woman I, king. Magnum Opus of the homeland of Romulus and Remus, leader of armies, peerless in the weapons of war, fierce Fearless and fearsome in battle, shall win the rights of rulership and become king of this kingdom. Magnum Opus has been named as a contender. Who else is worthy to compete in the rights of rulership? I am Kokino Pukamiso. I have been a guard in the protection of Silmaria for years. I am one of the people of this land, and I am proud to aid my kingdom and my homeland. Kokino Pukamiso has been named as a contender. Who else is worthy to compete in the rights of rulership? The Prince of Shapir, hero of Tarna and Mordavia, is worthy to compete in the rights to become king of this land. The Prince of Shapir has been named as a contender. By the ancient traditions of this land, five heroes shall compete in this challenge. Five heroes shall make this land stronger. One hero shall rise to the throne of Selmaria. The rites of rulership shall begin. The first rite is the right of freedom. Woo! The fishing villages of our kingdom and the island of Marit have been invaded by Hesperian mercenaries. Eos, Keros, Paros, Tinos, and Noxos have been overwhelmed. The invaders need to be driven from this land. I shall free Paros. For it is the village in which I was born. God shall choose Keros, for it is closest to the Academy of Science. Nah. Elsa shall choose Eos, for it is closest to my island. Thank you, Minos, for making my choice for me. Forgive me, Elsa, but I only wish to assure your success. Eos is still the best choice. 
It matters not which village I shall release from the yoke of oppression, but Tinos shall be avenged by Magnum Opus. By process of elimination, you realize you get to free the village of Naxos. Five shall go forth from the gates of Silmaria. Five shall bring freedom to the fishing villages and return to the gates of the Hall of Kings with the sigils of those villages. Five shall begin the right of rulership. The first person who returns with the sigil of their freed village shall be deemed the winner. Let the right of freedom begin. All right, let me scuttle away. You are escorted by the guards through the corridors of the Hall of Kings and eventually led out of the gate. It's on. All right, and yes, this way. So yeah, wait, I never finished my little story on Blotto by Laurel and Hardy. So one thing that really surprised me is that in 2020, that film will be 90 years old. It's currently 89 years old. And I was like, wow. I mean, I, I, it was old when I was a kid. Very old when I was a kid. Wait, where do I go? Naxos. That's Paros. Keros. <coughs> Tinos. Naxos. 90 years old. Uh oh. <laughs> this is child's play. Come over here. Stab him. Stab him. Oh god, fine. We'll do this by keyboard. Anyways, 90 years ago when it was filmed, they were doing something very strange. Or at least, it seemed very strange to me. They snuck out of the house to get drunk. And they went to a place with their own booze, and people were serving them seltzer. Why were they mixing wine with seltzer? It made no sense to me. And then my dad pointed out, no. You know, son, look. Prohibition was on while this film was made. Prohibition. Prohibition was 90 years ago. Oh, fine. Look. Wait. I just thought that was entirely entertaining. Like, wow. I forgot that they lived through it. I didn't even think twice about it. Okay, so we need a sigil. Should I even search these guys? Yes. Let's just search them. Oh, and I'm finally checking my social media for the first time in over a week. I gotta say, it was rather nice taking a break from social media. But yeah, so apparently people would go out, they'd go to a club, they'd pay to get in, and then they would put, like, seltzer up their drink. I mean, you had to be discreet, so they were, like, pouring their drinks underneath the table. And I mean, the whole thing was just, like, it's still side-splittingly funny. Like, Laurel and Hardy, absolute classics. Treason, Christ. Like, he can't, like, Stan can't get out of his house. So... Ollie is like talking to him over the phone like hey why don't you just tell your wife you have uh, you have a telegram send it to yourself your wife is too dumb to know like you're gonna be lying to her and of course she's like spying on them through the phone so she's like oh man these guys 
not only is he like sneaking out to get away from me, but he's also like calling me dumb over the phone. So she changes out the uh, she changes out the alcohol, pours it out. Oh God. <laughs> wow, God bless this spell. So she pours it out and fills it up with, of course, non-alcohol, but, you know, also like Tabasco sauce and all these other things that are just going to make it taste nasty as hell. They get to the club and they think it's really strong hooch and just act like they're drunk all night. All right, um, is that a, that is an exit. So uh, this is where the sigil is, I believe. Two hundred fifty drachma. Two hundred fifty drachma. Atlas armband. Take it all. As you close the chest, do you think you can barely hear the sound of the remaining invaders evacuating? Nice. Frostbite really is where the money shot is in this game. Well, let's rest. One hour. Actually, wait, what am I doing? I don't even have to run back to town, do I? Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I mean, I, I, I'm overloaded, I believe. Just by a little bit. Well, I will sell some stuff when I get to where I need to go. I don't think I'll be able to make it there in time. You know what? It's worth a try. It's worth a try. We have to believe. We have to try. Uh, no. Gate's closed. Didn't make it. Oh, well. Wait a minute. I might be able to make it. I just have to go right here. Oh, and I did not make it. I know I'm taking stamina damage, but it's, I think, raising one of my other skills. So we just go ahead and accept that as necessary. But yeah, it just blows my mind. Those guys filmed that in Prohibition. Ask about guard. We are not here to answer questions. Ask about Hall of Kings. This is the Hall of Kings. No one enters without permission. Samaria. We are not tour guides. Ask a merchant in the town square. No, they're not tour guides either. Tell me where the tour guide is and then I won't be bothering you, dingus. The Atlas armband has a magical feel to it. It seems very light for its size. Sigil. Let's... You know, I'm not even using this map. Does this map even have a purpose? Wow, not particularly. Orea, you have completed the right Whoa. of freedom. Whoa! And it healed me on everything. Summoned to the Hall of Kings. You return to your room for some much needed rest and return the next morning. Look at who won! The Prince of Shapir has freed the village from the invaders. He returned to the gates of the Hall of Kings before all others. He is the winner of the right of freedom. It is with great sorrow that I must now speak these words. One of the five who compete in the rights of rulership has fallen. Kokino Pukamiso was found murdered no! outside of the city beside a broken dragon pillar. He sought to free a village and win a throne. He lived with honor, but fell by foul means. He will not be forgotten. The right of freedom has ended. 
You will all be summoned for the next rite of rulership. Farewell. Oh, tragedy! You are dismissed to rest up for the next rite. You then return to the Hall of Kings. Two hours later. Invaders have been driven from our fishing villages, and the rite of freedom has been completed. All of Selmaria rejoices at your action. This is the second rite of rulership. The invaders are led by a general named Claudius, who has the reputation of being a ruthless and powerful strategist. He and the rest of the Hesperian mercenaries are believed to be based on an island near Marit. You shall seek out this general and make certain that he shall never invade our kingdom again. Return with his shield. This is the right of conquest. The right of conquest is a thing. I, I do have a question for you, Kalantaris. Or I, I think that's how I say your name. <clears throat> I always remember getting chewed out for killing the general. Why couldn't you get his shield by peaceful means? They would always cry at me. And I've done Google searching on this. Like, okay, the last time I tried this seriously was 2005. I was in the Marine Corps. I would sit outside of some place. It's like 30 degrees outside, just playing on my laptop, playing this game, actually. And all the facts I could find on the internet said, well, to get this, you need to cast the peace spell for 30 minutes. I did that for 45 minutes straight. Yes, like 45 minutes, just to make sure. He was not giving up. I don't know if it's possible. If if you know a method to make him happy, then that's fine. Otherwise, I'm just going to go up there and stab him in his guts or, like, you know, spit all over him until he dies. You're escorted by guards through the corridors of the Hall of Kings and eventually led out of the gate. Is there anything going on here? Contestants. The right of rulership has begun. Current standings for the rights of rulership. The following contestants are unranked. Island news. Villages invaded. The villages, the fishing villages around the shores of Marit have been invaded by mercenaries from the northwest. Contestants of the rights of rulership are expected to drive the mercenaries away soon. Naxos freed. The fishing village of Naxos has been freed by the... Freed from the mercenaries by Brit, the Prince of Shapir. Kokino Pukamiso assassinated. Kokino, a member of the Silmarian Guards and competitor for the rights of rulership, was found murdered at the crossroads. A dragon pillar was shattered near his body. He died bravely in cause for our kingdom. He shall be mourned. The Rite of Conquest. The Rite of Conquest begins. Competitors must find the location of the Hesperian Mercenaries Fortress and defeat their general. The person that returns with a general shield shall be deemed the winner of this conquest, uh, winner of this quest. So it looks like this is not a first come first serve one so much as who can actually get it done. Now who would we know that would know about mercenaries? I'm not quite sure offhand, but... I do want to say I need to lose some weight. So we'll do that and talk to him. Talk to the uh, weaponer. The oh. right of conquest sounds like it will weed out the wusses. We'll see who's the real warrior around here. Wow, you would make best friends with Isser from uh, Regier. Sell some things. Sell the sword. Thirty. You think I'm made of money? Hey, I won't pay more than this. This is my final offer. We got a deal. We do got a deal. I won't pay more than this, and then he pays more than. Oh, I got sixteen shields. Christ alive! No wonder I'm overloaded. You think I'm made of money? I pay. I won't pay more than this. This is my final offer. This is my final offer. All right, all right, all right. We got a deal. 
We got a deal. Man, that was expensive. Can I do two here? I mean, I'm quite the negotiator now. You think I'm made of money? I cannot. I, we got a deal. Lovely. Oh, wow. Look at that. My weight is down like nothing. Uh, ooh, maybe the famous adventurer will know something. I almost kind of doubt it, considering he never left anywhere, but he may be knowledgeable of the area. Where is the general? Didn't notice you coming in. Trying to get the phrasing just right in my new book, How to Be a Writer in Ten Easy Lessons. Of course, lesson number one is to be inspired. Like taking a drink from the Hippocrene. There was a time when I was a lot like you. Young, adventurous, good-looking, bound to see the world. Running around became such a hassle, though. I've been there and I've done that and there's not much left to do. So you say, how long have you been writing books for? Ask about the famous adventures correspondence school. I started school. this school a while ago. Just got tired of doing things one day and decided to settle down for a while. Picked up a pen and started to write about some of the things I'd done. Guess I've been here for a long time now. Wait, there's a patch for this game? I'm doing some research because I want to answer my own question about that shield. I used to love books as a kid. They taught me things, made me want to go places and do things. Now all I do is write them. Right. Conquest. Tell about myself. So you really wanted to be a hero. Sounds like you managed pretty well. Books helped, I'm sure, but it's what you got to do with the knowledge that counts. Been a long time since I was like you. Guess I just got tired. Tell you what. You being an adventurer and all, you'll probably want to explore this island. Well, somewhere to the north is the genuine Pegasus. That winged horse of legend. Tried to ride him once, but he threw me right into the sea. Took me a while to get to the shore. If you ever see where Pegasus nests, look for a stream nearby. That's the Hippocrene stream, boy. Pegasus stomped its hoof one day and the water came pouring out. Bring me some of that water, kid. It's been so long since I tasted its sweet inspiration. I'll make sure it's worth your while. <coughs> wow. We can make a sad old man uh, less sad. So the old king is dead. <coughs> Just goes to show how much I've been paying attention around here. The rights of rulership is a good way to pick a king. Better than most, anyway. Man. There's nothing here, kid. Just dust and dried ink. That's all I am anymore. Dried up like a prune. And about as much fun. You're depressing me. I'm gonna leave. Well, all right then. It seems nobody really knows where he's at. However, and this is kind of coming to me, I think he knows, the fisherman. Kalimera, so you are hunting for the leader of the mercenaries. If you need to look off the island of Marit, let me know. My boat is always ready in the morning. Um, let's do not quite yet. I kind of, well, hmm. Yeah, not quite yet. And, come on, I believe in you. Knock on the door. The open door. No one responds. Everyone must have passed out or gone to bed. All right, let's rest one hour. Actually, how are my stats doing? Anything significant? Not really. Ooh, excuse me. And take a dive. Mm. 
Wow. Since you don't breathe water, you hold your breath. You had better return to the surface before you drown. And going up like that does not do anything. It's not doing me any favors. Okay, exit. We're good. Swimming actually went up kind of decently. Oh, boy. I wonder what's the other way. Be able to swim a little longer, but not much. Swim till we get that notification and turn back. Really using up a lot of stamina for this. Now, I know there's a thing we can get that'll help us actually uh, get us to breathe underwater. Maybe the glide spell would have been nice, but that was removed. Not that anybody actually was in a furor about it, but it did happen. Swimming 128. We're going to be brave and try and make it around the whole underwater map this time. That's right. We're looking progress right in the eyes, staring at it and saying, yeah, I'm that good. I like it how he has to use the ladder to get back up. Strength is 510. Okay, strength is still going up. Oh, I, I didn't even have to click on it. He just jumps right into it. Very eager beaver, this guy. Perfect, considering beavers are underwater creatures. Actually, wait, what are you? Are you a chest over here? Oh boy, you're far away, aren't you? Okay, that's it. Nope, we're, we're swimming back to the shore. And hoping for the best. That might have been a death sentence. You really do need to breathe some air before you asphyxiate. I'm on it. Oh god, come on. No, stop. You're so exhausted, everything you do hurts. As well as, like, breathing. And we made it. That was getting scary down there. 161, Vitality 484. Rest one hour. And we're going to save. All right, perfect. Wait, where are we at now with swimming? 161? I think we might be alright. Wait, where are you going? Alright, let's make this swimming adventure happen. It's too far away for me to reach. Well, that's a kick in the dick. You really do need to breathe some air before you asphyxiate. All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll take your cautious warning. Maybe I'll do a little swimming around in a circle before I go up. Show the fish how it's done and whatnot. Okay, and up we go. One seventy nine for swimming. It's 
not a skill I care too much about, but it is there. Uh, and I have nothing else to do for right now. Considering the fisherman is gone, and considering that this is not a timed quest, or at least in my best guess, it is not a timed quest. The sailing ship slipped to the sandy shoals of the shallow shores of the sea. Well, there's a hole in the log and a, by a frog in the hole in the bottom of the sea. I wish I knew that song. It actually seems really fun. There's a bump in a log by a hole in a frog in the bottom of the belly of the sea. Oh, there's a hole. Oh, there's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. All right, let's rest one more time. Swimming, 203. Woo, party. Strength keeps going up, so I think we're doing okay. I also think we can make several laps around this now. So it looks like the swimming skill is kind of worth it. Actually, I take that back. Because I feel like since there's that item, which help does actually let you breathe underwater, it makes the swimming skill totally useless. So what am I doing by building up this skill? Am I wasting not just my time, but your precious time? I think I am. I dare, I dare to do such a thing. Am I an invalid? Am I a drain on other people? Nay, I'm a guy with a good swimming skill, and that's all you need to know. Glad we escaped. That music was getting dramatic. 215. Vitality. 492. So I guess that the maximum skill level is 550. That's fine. Alright, let's check out the Dead Parrot Inn. Sign up for the combat tomorrow, and then we will figure out what to do with my day tomorrow. Actually, yeah, no, let's go upstairs. I said, let's go upstairs. And see what's up, Doc. I want to do that arena fight. I want to do it bad. You know, I saw this video on YouTube where somebody was saying, I lost one bet for 60 drachmas. That's fine. I'll challenge you, Magnum. Would you like to challenge the champion to combat? You know darn tootin' I do. That's gonna take a while. Two, three, eight, eight. We're gonna bet all of that. Place all of that on me. I'm sorry, you're not allowed to bet more than 1,000 drachmas. Well then, guess what I'm doing? Call me confident. And on Gort, well, Gort's gonna win. So I'm going to bet a thousand on him. Yeah. Please return to the dead parrot after a match to find out the results. So that means show up tomorrow and collect my money. Wait, what was that? 
was this? 495 stealth? Am I really almost maxed out with stealth? That's crazy. I don't feel like I've spent as much time developing it as the other games, like Quest for Glory. Ooh, Senior Ferrari is not even up here. Like Quest for Glory 3, I stealthed the entire thing. And I never maxed it out, never got close to it. Some of the other games, I barely did something and it just went up. It just skyrocketed. Is there anything else going on at night? Well, I guess I could go to the Thieves Guild and do a thing or two. Well, I guess that's what we'll do. Go in there and pickpocket like crazy. That will raise our intelligence. Actually, speaking of raising our intelligence, don't we have more than enough mana right now that we're not using, utilizing? Sweet. What is my skill with Frostbite? 480. Oh, wait, nope. Stealth is at 500. See, that's what I'm talking about. Magic is, magic is at 318. Okay. I'm going to have to use my magic every chance I get. How much money do I have? Not a lot. That's right. I bet it all. <clears throat> well, I should have plenty soon, and then I can just spend it all on mana potions. And cast all day, and then be good. For the rest of the game. Ah, uh, yes, I get the nape message. It gotcha. Oh, wait, right. So, do you have anything new to tell me? Actually... Good evening, matey. What can I be doing for you? I don't know. I'm trying to talk to you. And never mind. Let's call. Status of the entrance in the contest. Enfolded. Be called. Oh! B. I, oh, I guess that's me? Initials of the entrance in the contest. So I called. I have no idea what's going on. All right, let's go back in there, I suppose. Oh boy, this is gonna be a little bit of grinding, isn't it? it got <coughs> Wait, stealth can't go up above 500, I guess. That does me a favor. All right. You know, it's not doing me a favor. Stand around doing nothing. Uh, so let's rest. One hour. And I guess we'll go get another, some more stuff to sell. We don't need to sneak anymore, I don't believe. Kind of want to just to see what happens. So, 
Oh, we got a shade. We got a shade. Wait a minute. Am I not wearing any equipment? Oh, that's right, because I went underwater. And I don't care about that shield. I don't have enough mana points to cast that spell. Yeah, no. Attack. Kill the shade. I'm not even getting anything for killing you. I'm just doing this for the love of killing, aren't I? I've got some real problems I need to work out. Where do I begin? Well, it all started a long time ago with my mother. There we are. Now I'm feeling sassy. Nope, sorry baddies. Y'all don't carry any good loot. Let's check out this dragon shrine, maybe. Three cougar men. Doesn't look like the cougar men I've been fighting. What are y'all? The black cats of the family? It's getting late and you haven't slept in a while. A good night's sleep sounds very relaxing. All right, all right, all right. Let's loot. We'll loot and go to bed. There's nothing really important that I'm doing. All right, and... Ah, run to sleep, because I'm that excited about sleep. And I'm hungry. Well, then let's get some food. You know what? I'm not sure what I was talking about with the stat decay. I haven't noticed any quite yet. Or maybe I was just really taking forever to do anything in this game. Because if there's stat decay, then I will go ahead and go into the game's programming and fix that myself. I'm not sure what language this was written in, but I can figure it out. I'm a web developer, not a programmer. Today, we are having macaroni and cheese. Plain, I gave the cooks the... Hmm, either this tastes good or you've been around Gnome Ann's Inn way too long. Now, we have a fight tonight, and we're going to go win that fight. And we're going to do it by any means necessary. <coughs> So what do we do with our day off, waiting until 6 p.m.? I hate to say it, but it, it might be a swimming day. Well, how's my weight doing? Ah, weight is fine. Well, I don't know what else I can do around town, so swimming it is, and sploboosh, right into the water. We're at, still this at 500. Right, 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 okay, so yeah, I've already maxed out some other skills. Swimming's at 215. See, you would imagine that this skill, swimming, helps me to stay underwater longer. And swimming underwater makes my skill go up. 
Ergo, the longer I can stay underwater, the longer my skill has a chance to go up. So the better I get at it, the quicker I can improve at it. Who knows if that's the case? All I know is I did not say before I did this. Like a Nimrod. So we pray that we make it, and we made it. So I say, let's uh, save. Because I want to practice my magic skills. And maybe spit all over this guy. How do you like that? Wow, that's loud. Ah, God, that was loud. And you're stronger than any man I've ever met. Vitality, 499. Swimming, 224. I guess I am not getting better at, at an incremental rate. 228, huh? So, 228. Let's see where we end up at. I'll just keep swimming, swimming around and around and around, under the ground, under the ground. I really do need to get some air before I asphyxiate. I'm not sure how long these warning messages go on for. I feel like I should push my luck just a wee bit more. At least use up my stamina. It's a bit longer than I prefer. But maybe we can get another warning message before my lungs pop inside my body. Holding your breath is starting to get painful. If you don't get out of the water soon, you will drown. All right, all right. And there we go. And then we rest. Two forty four with swimming. Hey. The crowd goes mild. Is there anything I can do with that ship while I'm under here? Is my skill finally up enough to go and uh, play around with it? This huge head is all that's left of a truly robbed uh, statue. This boat's been here for a long time. There's nothing worth taking. I don't tease me like that. So I could probably do about three or four laps around this place. So I've kind of learned that my family is full of swimmers. It's not something I would have chosen. I mean, I did love the pool when I was a kid. But I've never been a strong swimmer. I'm not going to say it terrifies me, but I will say that the ocean absolutely terrifies me at night. The ocean terrifies me because it's just a big sea of black. You can't see anything. And anything can be lurking underneath the waves. Many things that man is not very familiar with. Strength 530, vitality 509, and swimming 262. Oh god, it's only 144. We're going to have to go about this two or three more times before we have the luxury of going to the arena and making, like, a pittance. For the sheer love of making a pittance, I might add.
Why am I building up such a useless skill? I can't really explain. It's just what I want to do. I think it might be fun. Maybe it will come in use later. Although I highly doubt it. Very highly doubt it. What happens if I swim at the camera? Do I bounce off it? Whoosh! Nope. I feel like swimming did come in handy at some point later on, but once again, magical amulet. Breathe underwater. I could just do this for five minutes and max it out straight. I better leave or I will drown. The music is getting scary. And here we go. Cancel. Swimming 274. It's gone up quite a bit. My health has gone up quite a bit as well. And we'll just run to where we need to go. Yeah, let's go this way. It's easier to run. I say as I have a hard time crossing a bridge. Actually, wow, this is closer to where I wanted to go. We'll sneak over there, just in case it can go up anymore. Even though I know it can't, it cannot. Oh, no, 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 don't smell the roses. Ah, wait, I could I could have uh, spent the day to go get that guy his water. After all, I do have a container for it. Do I not? Uh, that I do. That I am do la do la do. Won't be able to make that joke much longer. I don't even think he makes an appearance in this game. Let's rest for an hour, and I am going to go make pee pee while we wait for this next hour to go by. So I also think, outside of doing more of the Sierra games, I also might be interested in throwing out some uh, Mad Max, because that was a very fun game to play. Oh, yes, indeedy, it was. And for those of you all that haven't played the Mad Max game, I, th I don't know what consoles it was on, but I had the PC version. It was such a cool game. It was just another... 
It starts off just kind of like another generic open world game. Oh, it's got a lot of style to it. Eh, that's cool, that's cool. But it really just kind of kept building up. I really got invested in this story. I mean, the story was cool. Clearing out the camps was fun. Even finding the little hidden things in each camp. I got addicted to that, and normally that stuff I... I'm at the point in my life where I just don't care about getting all the little things. I don't care. Don't give a toot. But this game, I did. And the main point of the game is kind of to get your car all maxed up. So the thing you're driving around in all day is the main goal of the game to upgrade. Alright, sounds like fun. Ah, oh, the hero of Tarna. Not the hero of Spielberg like I used to be known. Well, time to equip up, I say. And since it's my day to fight, ask fight, about fight. Magnum. Magnum good. Magnum win. You lose. I don't think so, Tim. Oh, and I get to stop by the bar afterwards to get paid so twice. You dare to challenge me, Magnum Opus. Oh. Overconfident fool. Your defeat will come swiftly. Well, I'm scared. I don't know about y'all. My greetings to all of you. Welcome to the arena and tonight's spectacle of deadly combat. I, Ferrari, am your host for these events. As you know, the combatants may choose the style of combat they prefer. They will fight in deadly earnest to bring their opponent to his knees. When a foe has fallen, the combat is over. The winner shall receive the purse of gold drachma, and the defeated will be healed to fight another day. Tonight's champion has more than proven himself in battle. He has the reputation as a leader of warriors and tireless student of the martial arts. From the city-state of Nova Roma, I summon to battle Magnum Opus. I, Magnum Opus, brilliant tactician and strategist, shall demonstrate to all in Silmaria that I am unsurpassed in my combat skills. I shall defeat all who challenge me. Ave Ferrari, I who shall make my opponent die. So do you. Yep, I ain't no lightweight Our myself. Is challenged by a most renowned hero. I summon to battle the Prince of Shapir. Don't even have a weapon. Boo. Yeah, y'all boo me now, but I'll be getting rich off of this. And begin. This area seems to be warded against most magical effects. I can't... Oh, God. Well, it looks like I'm going to be fighting. Yeah, just slide backwards. Come on, Magnum, keep up with me. You can do this, I believe in you. You have so many big words. So many things you brag about. So Aww. I'm disappointed in you, Magnus. Or Magnum, whatever your name was. The victor of tonight's battle is the Prince of Shapir. You're awarded the winning purse. You are t uh, now 250 drachmas richer. Who, 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 who? They're doing the Arsenio thing. Hoo, 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 hoo. God. For those of y'all who may not 
being the same age group as me, Arsenio Hall was a, a late night talk show host, and he was pretty, he was very, very, very popular at the time. And he had one thing where his guests would sit there and like swing their arm around in a circle and go, hoo, 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 hoo. And as a third grader, of course, that's what me and everybody else did. Because that's what cool people were doing at the time. See, this is a time whenever cool was still considered like an edgy word. Like, you'd say that's rad. You didn't say that was cool. Oh, hello. What's this? Girl? What are you doing up there? Nawar looks very attractive this evening. Hey. Greet Nawar. Did you always walk the streets at night? Or were you just looking for a little excitement? I was feeling a little hot. How about you? Oh, let's not talk about my work. I'd much rather talk about my play. My, you have been busy since we first met. <coughs> I have a weakness for heroes, you know? Leaving so soon, we were just getting to know each other better. Maybe we'll get a chance to know each other very well some other night. I think See I... you soon, I, I hope. I think you can actually marry her, but who cares why? Here's something else you may care about. Here's some money. Money? I am not for sale. It might be possible to rent me for a while, though. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised. Wait. Every- wait, it's- it's closed for the night? You gotta be kidding me. It's not even that late. Okay. Here's what we're doing. We're gonna go to sleep. Liberate. We're gonna kill that captain before anybody else has a chance to. We're gonna go get that Pegasus stuff. Maybe this game isn't as long as I thought it was. Maybe it just felt long. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna eat breakfast and talk to the fisherman. And Gnome probably Gnome Ann probably has no new food disgusting food descriptions for me, so we'll just skip that. The soup for tonight is lo soup, so Yeah, lobster bisque. I heard this one. Your chefs get into a lot of the same shenanigans. Have you tried talking to them? Your guest, <clears throat> me, might appreciate it. Whatever, she doesn't care, I don't care. It's free slop. Wait a minute, oh, that's right. She said I can stay there free for a week, but the weeks are really long here. Ergo, I never pay rent. Which is silly, because I have so much money. Give me a reason to spend money on. I mean, I know we kind of... So you are hunting for the leader of the mercy... I know we're kind of juking the system by selling that thing. The magic armor, but eh, cost me fifty drachma. Great, we shall go for a boat ride together. You guide the way, and I'll sail. I have heard that you are seeking the mercenaries. They are rumored to have a fortress on the island of Sifnos to the southwest. Southwest, it is. And I don't think I fight any sea monsters. I don't I know. Let you off near Sifnos, but I cannot stay. They constantly patrol this area by ship. If they spot my boat... We are approaching Sifnos. There we go. I do not want to be seen, <laughs> so we shall wait until dark to land this ship. You will need the cover of darkness to aid you. You have a distinct sense that you're not exactly safe. Uh, 
Wait, what am I doing? Well, that's two down. Whoever's blowing that horn is going to get it next. <laughs> well, that was easy. Damn, this spell just ruins the game. That's fine. It was ruined on launch. <laughs> but no, I, I am having I am having fun with this. I hope you're having fun watching, listening, doing whatever you're doing. You can sense a great deal of danger radiating radiating from the far end of the fortress. Perhaps we shall save this. Well, let's do this. So you're dead. Wait, no. Run back. Come on, we can go up these stairs. I believe in me. Come, come now. Wow, this is a tough guy. All right. And maybe on the steps some more, there's a bit more action. Sure, I'm carrying way too much at this point. All right, let's climb. Wait, what happened to my climbing skill? Do I still have a climbing skill? Yeah, I do. Not like it's good for anything. And I don't have enough mana for that. That's fine. We're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. All right, take the most, uh, pointy thing I have and insert it into your guts until you say, hey, that's not cool. And then I use some of the thousands of healing potions I have. Uh-oh, there's a wizard. Well, I'm certainly going to be rich after this. I think I can go in here and it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it does nothing. Well, I don't have enough mana to uh, cast reversal spell, so I guess we just go over there and kill the wizard. Ah, and it's a centaur. There we go. All right, let's run over there. Wait, where'd he go? What a pile of crap. You come back here right now. For I was not finished with you. Yeah, 
There we go. I'm gonna be super rich after this once again. And heavy swing, heavy swing, heavy swing. Come on now. No, run. Run down here. Look, this guy's cheating. So I will cheat too. I already clicked on him, so now we just sit around and watch him like run over there and do the thing. Wizard will run over to the other side. Oop. All right, we'll just run over to the other side of uh, other side of the stage again. What? What, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I think I lost my footing. Six. Let's get that stamina back. And one more hit and you're dead. Oh, thank God. Magic dagger. Augmentation scroll. What's the augmentation scroll? Sorry to interrupt the big combat, but I'm curious. The scroll has the words Augmentation Proclamation written upon it in magical script. The words of the spell burn themselves into your brain and crumble into dust. Uh-oh, here's the general. What will I do? Who am I kidding? Let's see. Let's just... I mean, we have the money. Vitality. Mana potion. Just use the mana potion. Alright, let's just drain him down. And there he's dead. One spell cast later. 50 drachma. General shield. Magic axe. And he's dead. Is there anything beyond this door? I mean, I don't think so, but... Nope. So, we're done. And we travel. Oh, nice. Back home. Nap. Since we already got the thing... Why don't we go get that Pegasus water after we sell all the crap we're carrying? We might even get a new magic armor, magic chainmail out of this. All right, no, man, I don't want to hear any of your bullshit. Today's treat is goop soup with A lot of the same mistakes going on here. It's almost to the point where I would just rather eat my rations than, like, hear her excuses. But I should probably hang on to those in case, you know, later. And I can't have the privilege, the luck, the luxury of eating her festering crap. All right, friend. It sounds like it will weed out the. It will weed out the wussies. Yes, yes, yes. You're so masculine and strong, and I just want to be like you. I wish you were He-Man, so I could hold little muscular dolls of you and fantasize about your body. I won't pay. I won't pay more. This is my final offer. We got a deal. I have eleven shields. I asked for fifty-five. 
I'm made of money? We got a deal. 54. You think I'm made of money? We got I will a deal. never get more than one drachma for those. 40 damage. Yeah, I don't care. All right, here we go. 720. No, not 7200. You know me. I'm reasonable. Nice dealing with you. See? Very reasonable. Is there anything I can purchase from you? 5000 drachmas. This guy's ripping me off. Magic helm. Oh, 4000 drachma. Get out of here. Dragon Slayer. Ice Diamond. Man. Man has some serious things going on in his weapons armory for once. For once, there's actually use for money in a game. In a Quest for Glory game. Who would have thought... It was useless, nearly useless in part three, and uh, completely useless in part four. But part four is the favorite, flaws and all. All you needed money for was uh, sandwiches and sleeping at the inn. I mean, of course, you know, the items here and there, but really, you could pretty much buy them all as soon as you started the game and then not worry about it. So, all right. Let's go get that Pegasus water for the the FA famous adventurer. Maybe we'll make some more money. Maybe enough to buy a magic helm. Nah, don't care about y'all. Not worth it. This is where the money's at. Where the weirdlings are. Weird men with uh, oh, weird flowers. I'll be picking up the petals in another few hours. Hey, there's a dragon shrine here. Can I climb this thing? Are you just gonna, oh. Actually, wait, yes, yes, yes. There's, there's the river. The river the man spoke of. Not mana, potion, amphora. This is what we need. And we will have a good day. Well, what's up here? I'm curious. Too far away for me to reach. That's fine. I'm not trying to reach anything. Alright, I guess we'll just hold down the up button and hope for the best. Huh, I see. I see. Well, have we considered that perhaps instead of doing all this other stuff, there is a perfectly good levitate spell? Oh, we did consider that. Uh, well then. I was not truly expecting that. But if I click on this thing, no. Yeah, see, the climbing skill does nothing. Or are you actually going to climb for like one of the few times in this game that... No! You go back. I was not done with this area. No, don't you dare. You grab an ample supply of feathers and carefully put them away. It is too far away to reach. Oh man, this is gonna be a long journey back towards town, and nope. 
And there we go. Beautiful. Just what we wanted. Gnome and your in sucks. I know. We all know. We all know. So maybe this will be a better way to go about it. Uh, we go over here. And then we go over here. Yeah. I think the apothecary wanted the Pegasus feathers. I can't really recall. They're in the back of my mind because I don't really need too many of those healing potions. Uh, let's see, the Hippocrene water. That's it. You've got it. I'd know its smell anywhere. That's not it's me. Not the scent of the sweat of the wild bull you're riding. The chill of a starlit night on the top of a mountain peak. The perfume of a lover's lips. How could I ever forget this? It's the drink that makes men become gods. It's adventure and glory and life. It's what you're here for, isn't it? It's why I was here for so long, I just didn't realize it. His voice acting jumped up significantly with that. That's a really good touch. He's a lot more enthusiastic. He's more full of life. He's not just some sort of sad little book writer. No, 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 no. He's more than a mere author. He is an adventurer, and he is here to bring glory to the land. Ask about the famous adventurer. How are you feeling today, good buddy? Ask me that question again when I've had my quaff of this stuff. I've been dead for so long here, and I didn't even know it. This will bring me back to life again. You tasted it, didn't you? You couldn't help but drink deep the waters of the Hippocrene. It's the milk of Mother Nature, the liquor of inspiration, the very spirit of adventure. Come back here after I've had the chance to enjoy this. I'll try to find something you'd be interested in. <laughs> and I just spin around in place. That was not me. I have no idea, like, why that happened. Maybe I was just feeling the waters of the Hippocrene. All right, so I'm back here, like, three minutes later. You chug your, uh, brew? Back, lad. I wanted to really thank you in return for shaking the cobwebs from my head and dusting me off with the Hippocrene water. Here, take this in return for the Hippocrene water. It's a stealth charm. Got it from a kid that was known as the greatest thief in Gaul. Called himself the Mouse. Retired to take up falconry. Or so I heard. Anyway, hope it helps you as much as this helps me. It's a gorgeous morning today, isn't it? Makes me want to run outside and dive off the dock. Swim to who knows where. It's that kind of a day. You know, I've got an uncle that's actually swam from one Greek island to another. In his 60s. Ask about the famous adventurer. I am alive again. I feel like I've just wakened from a long sleep. I've got some books to write and stories to tell, and then I'm off to find some new adventures and new tales. Life's too short not to enjoy it fully. It truly is. Tomorrow is not a guarantee. Two hours from now is not a guarantee. Enjoy what you got. You want to know my real name? Which one do you want to know? My name is Davy Jones when I sail upon the sea. I've chorused with the sirens as they sang their songs to me. I've supped on Circe's island, though she thought I was a boar. And she's the only girl I hope to never see once more. It's beautiful, isn't it? The Pegasus. There's only one in all the world. Kind of sad thinking of it all alone like that. Everyone needs a lover sometime. Well, why don't you go and make love to it, buddy? Farewell. And enjoy every moment of your adventure. Even the worst is better than being dead. We kind of left that on a sour note, didn't we? Okay, there was another thing I was supposed to do today. And I forget. Well. I have the shield, right? Yes, I have the general shield. Let's just go get my... Give me my money. 
All right, so it's 612. This is a massive bar. I just want to throw that out there. Massive. I can only imagine how rich the owners are. Which is Signor Ferrari. Or Signore. As my uneducated mind said. I won two bets for 3,900 drachmas. I will challenge Toro. And I will place a bet on myself for 1,000 drachmas. Toro versus Elsa. How can I not bet on that? Who would win in a fight? I'm going to... Well, Toro is supposed to win. Wait, so this is what? A win and that's a loss? Odds if you bet on the champion. Odds if you bet on the challenger, so... She would pay out more. But he's more likely to win. I don't know. So day 15, I'll just show up and win some more money. But seriously, imagine coming to a place like this. It would never get packed. This is pretty much... This is pretty much a mansion. Are you over here, Senor Ferrari? Probably not. Nope. That's fine. We don't need you. You're not important to what I do. So we run away. We run and we will show the shield and then uh, I will probably, I should probably eat something. For I have yet to eat any sort of food. Except for that vegetable soup I had earlier. And the soup was made so that way I would burn more calories eating it than I did from consuming it. It gave me some really bad gas at work, and like several times I accidentally farted. Like right in front of everybody. So I just blamed it on somebody else from across the room. Alright, bring on the party! Yes, 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 big hero, look at me. You have won the right of conquest. Everyone will be summoned to the Hall of Kings. And then what? At 6 a.m.? Wait a minute. The shield of General Claudius has been brought back by the Prince of Shapir. The invader base has been destroyed, and our kingdom shall remain free from their menace. Behold the winner of the right of conquest. However, again, tragedy has struck the rights of rulership. Magnum Opus was found dead outside the city beside the Dragon Pillar to the east. This was not a noble death. This was murder, pure and simple. All of your lives are in great danger. Take care. It always Be was. Wary always. Go now. Mourn our fallen comrade. You will all be summoned to the next right of rulership. In an hour and a half. All right, you are dismissed to rest up for the next rite. You are then returned to the Hall of Kings. The Hesperian mercenaries were vanquished, and Silmaria stands proudly. General Claudius was defeated. There is one enemy of this kingdom that has long been a foe for long centuries. It has the soul of evil, and thus draws evil to it. While it lives, there is fear. While it breathes, there is anguish. You will have to journey to the heart of terror and pain. You will face fire and fury, and above all, death. 
journey to Hydra, there to face the creature that gives the island name. Teach it the fear and pain it has given others, and destroy it. Return with its teeth to prove your word. This is the right of valor. All right, I'm escorted out of there to go this and do my right thing. This right of valor is a throwback to tradition. The Hydra is a monster from antiquity and is seldom defeated. It cannot truly be killed, for it regenerates from any injury. Your greatest challenge will be in getting to Hydra Island. It is beyond the area where the fishing boats can safely travel. Wow. I am frustrated and angry, and so Maria feels like a cage. The assassin is waiting somewhere nearby. I am certain of that. I am afraid I am not the calm paladin I should be right now. Forgive me, my friend. The assassin is just a tool, and his master is the one that enrages me. I want vengeance rather than justice for the wrongs he has caused. Maybe the assassin was that shady-looking assassin guy I saw in the bar that wouldn't talk to me. And people say not to judge a book by its cover. Mm -mm -mm. Where are those people now? They're all dead. Killed by a book cover. Logos insisted that the Hydra would be the right of valor. He thought that it would get you, Elsa, and Gort away from Marit, and thus you would be safer from the assassin. I argued that by turning your back to a murderer, you only get struck from behind. You should be seeking the assassin rather than fighting some fabulous beast. Mino sided with Logos, and so you are seeking a monster rather than a madman. Yeah, well, the monster sounds like more fun. The Hydra is a three-headed dragon. It is almost entirely immune to magical spells. It can only be injured by a magical weapon. Not even the legendary heroes of yore could defeat the Hydra by themselves. Watch me. With the defeat of General Claudius, I do not believe we will be troubled by an invading army any time soon. All who wage war knew of the General's reputation and respected his abilities. They will not dare to share his defeat. I just want to say that I didn't notice this whenever I played the game previously, but it was really nice of him to say there will be no disasters while uh, before the right of rulership happens. I would start, like, whenever I would play the game, I would always start the right of rulership just because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. So then it would start, and then I would be ill-prepared. It sounds dumb whenever I say it like that, but that's just how I did it. But it's nice for him to actually give guidance in the game and say, Hey, um, now is the time to train. Now is the time to build up wealth. Now is the time to get familiar. Which I never did, because I just wanted to get right into the fun. Oh, well, about, what, 20 years too late. Magnum Opus was found murdered on the road west of Tau. He was slumped against a broken dragon pillar. It was just like Kokino's death. This is no mere assassination. It is a ritualistic murder and has a darker purpose than we now know. We must learn the purpose of these murders and stop it before the murderer accomplishes it. Be particularly careful right now. I have a bad premonition of impending violence. Get he down. Uh oh. There's danger. Oh god. Rakish, I think that's your name. The pain. It fills me. Is it burning? The poison. I cannot heal. Not on me, Nimrod. The pain. Fills me. Is it burning? The poison. I cannot heal. I gotta run to the apothecary. Make a poison heal. Come on. Hurry. I can't quit the game now. Rakesh is in danger. 
You are under arrest for suspicion of murder. You will go with me to the Hall of Kings, Amesos. Not Amesos. I have other things to do. The Paladin Rakish is dead. What? Though his heart was strong, not even it could prevail against the assassin's venom. His son, Chakra, will take Rakish's body back to Tana for his family to mourn him. I have never met a finer being, and I will mourn I can't him, help so but feel I fucked that up. You two were Rakish's friend, and he trusted and respected you. It is you who will bear the burden of Nemesis. You must bring this assassin the justice he deserves. May the furies of vengeance guide your way to avenge our fallen friend. Maybe... Well, I guess I'm not under arrest. Well, that sucks. I liked Rakish. He was my friend. Fifteen versus ten. Well, we're going with the general's shield. <laughs> Um, oh, we are so going to kill this Hydra and make Rakish proud by doing a thing he said he didn't think we should be doing. We should take care of the assassin, but no, we're going to go kill a Hydra. And why not? Kalimera, are you interested in taking a boat ride today? Thanks, Skippy. If you are seeking a way to Hydra Island, you will need to find another way to get there. I cannot get near there. Oh, well then, you're useless. How does one... Wait, didn't I say I was running to the apothecary? I sure did. And here we are. Sorry your friend Rakish bit the big one. He was a prince among lions. Uh, or was that a lion of princes? Julinar, do something. Make the thief sign. Salim looks at you blankly for a moment, then raises one arm and starts rubbing his belly with the other. When he sees that you aren't boogieing along with him, Salim stops and looks confused again. Oh, Salim. bottle where would I be I am afraid that you have sold the last bottle to that strong fighter who came here yesterday oh right we ran out of Pegasus feathers the last time we were making it sorry but we won't have any stamina pills until we get a few more Pegasus feathers well let's just buy a few of these hey thanks wait so really help me keep the shop going so I can make some more good pills and potions yeah, I wish I had those a short while ago. Hey, thanks. This will really help me keep the shop. Sorry, I don't have any of that right now. I got most of the ingredients, but I'm missing the scales of a dragon. I just can't make it work without them. I don't even know what that thing is. Vitality. These are fresh out of vitality potions. I can't make any more without Pegasus feathers. Yeah, you're really totally out of them. Driving the point home, aren't you? Health. Thanks. This will really help me keep the shop going so I can make some more good pills and potions. Good thing we got those Pegasus feathers. Considering this guy just really is fixated on them. Hey, 
Thanks. This will really help me keep the shop. Okay, so I. Wait, no. Uh, why would I offer more? Hey, thanks. I know. Hey, thanks. Keep the shop going. Hey, thanks. Wait, what? Am I selling? I didn't want to sell. I wanted to buy. No, we'll buy six. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. Wait, so I had poison cure pills. Hey, thanks. While I just this sat there and watched Rakish die. Sorry, well, I don't have any of that right now. I got most of the ingredients, but I'm missing the scales of a dragon. Hey, thanks. Hey, well, that's just how it happened. Not worried about it. Sorry, Rakish. I know I'm a crappy paladin. But you should have known I was a crappy paladin back in part two. Ah, well, what can you do? He was an old cat anyway. He did as old cats do. Get a dagger shoved in them. This is such a long thing to do. Why? Why? Why are you a thing? You have no problem adjusting this brake lever. It goes there. Comes around the corner. Stop. And I magnificently jump over there. Force bolt. Yep. Maybe a little twitched that way. Perfect. So we need to get to the island of the Hydra, but I'm not quite sure how. If this doesn't work, then it's definitely time to go and eat. Or actually, I take that back. There are things I will do. So what is this? This weird contraption is labeled the Flying Machine Prototype 1. Some assembly required. It reminds you of the stories of the flying wings of Icarus and Daedalus. May I have these? Please do not touch the equipment. It is delicate and should not be touched by anyone other than a true scientist. Listen, there's only one scientist I'm going to listen to, and it's Dr. Cranium. Please do. <laughs> okay. I know what I should do. What a day, what a day. Speaking of a day. Today is a total Monday. The software that we use was down. No business could be done, and I, for like three hours, I had everybody asking me, hey, this software we need to do to conduct business is down. Can you fix it? 
And I mean, all I could do is just kind of keep reiterating, look, this isn't something I can do. This isn't even something the businesses we do business through can do anything about. Right now, IIS is down. And it's like, what, internet, information server? Basically, Windows servers were down today. And all we can do is just sit around and wait. Wait for, like, their eggheads to fix things as quickly as possible. I can't imagine the, uh, the pressure for those people saying, Hey, by the way, thousands of businesses across the United States need you to fix this immediately. What went wrong? Fix it now. Because businesses greetings, never even called me back. Greetings, greetings. You've already heard that. Talk to Wolfie. Greet merchant. It is most genuinely a pleasure to be seeing you. My tail wags very fast. Mm hmm. An amphora is a Grecian urn. It is used to carry liquids of all varieties. Are we speaking union or non union? Regarding a Grecian urn? Silmaria is a very fine city. Yes, indeed. This is the best place to find many things in this town square. You fucking there racist! Are many people here as well. Some of them will be so kind as to not pick your pocket as they walk by. At the docks, you can rent a boat and take a pleasant sea voyage. It is most fun, as long as you do not drown or get attacked by the sea people. I am not much up at Knob Hill, except daily to read the notices and to keep informed of many things that go on in this city. It is how I know the assassin has been killing people on the streets of Silmaria. I have even made a visit to the Guild of the Adventurers in the west part of town, even though I am not an adventurer. The Guildmaster there is most impressive. If he came where I came from, he would be sacred. I think you will be very happy in Silmaria. God. It is a very good place to be, even if this city is soon to be overrun with foreign soldiers and destroyed economically by war with the sea people. Oh. You must be very careful of the monsters, thieves, and the assassins here, too. All in all, you will find Silmaria to be most exciting. It is said that the countryside is overrun by the invaders from the north. Soon they will be knocking at our gates and asking to take over the kingdom, I am thinking. You know, I really love Indian people. And certain things can look a little silly to me. That they are into. And Wolfie is the stereotype of every single negative stereotype of their people. Blindly obedient. Silly accent. Overly loyal. Just... <laughs> this guy... This guy could not exist today. But Indian people are fucking great. I hope to visit India soon. $500 for a ticket to India and back. $25 a night for a three-star hotel. Dude, yes, I'm going. Already got my passport. The sea people have been attacking many of the ships that sail to and from our harbor. The lives of many fish have been spared, for the fishermen have left this island. It is just as well, for they lost their homes to the soldiers. Mm-hmm. This was once a very fine place for thieves. There was not a day gone by when I did not admire how a thief had taken something before <laughs> my eyes without me seeing him. Uh, most of them are gone away right now. I have heard that these thieves are off searching for an ebony raven. This is most curious, for I have seen such a bird flying over the city. You would think that they would look up there for it first. <laughs> no, you friggin' retard. The king of Silmaria was killed by an assassin, or so it is said. There is another person that the assassin has murdered, if the rumor is to be true. It is a wonder if we are not all killed by him. Mm-hmm. You wish to know more about me? I am only an artist trying to make a living by selling what crafts that I can. I come from the lands of Punjabi, where my people, the canines, live. I am skilled at making art with clay or paint. 
If you have need of something made or painted, then I would be most happy to be doing it for you. Mm hmm So I had the pleasure of escorting a guy who was Punjabi. He was from Mumbai. And I got to escort him for about three weeks. I mean, longer than that. I mean, I worked with him, whatever, we hung out. It was all very cool. And this guy came down. He was so open-minded and friendly and ready to, like, party. Like, Jesus Christ, I could not keep up with that guy. He climbed a mountain. And then he wanted to just sit there and walk. Like, I'm going to walk everywhere and talk to everybody. I'm going to do everything that I can do here. And, I mean, he explained it to me the best way that he could. And I understand him and stuff like that, but maybe it's uh, because I didn't have to actually do this. But he's like, look, man, you don't understand. To get my passport, to get into America, I stood in a line that was no less than a mile and a half long. I'm standing out there in the elements. And by the time I get up to the front, they could tell me no for pretty much no reason. No, you're not getting in there. So he sat on a passport until it was about to expire. And then he was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to America. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. So he showed on up. And he just kind of hung out with us and <laughs> did the work thing. And then uh, he learned that we were going to Las Vegas soon as a business trip. Goodness, sorry. Going to Las Vegas soon as a business trip. So he joins us. Man. He's like, look, you don't understand, my friend. Not everybody makes it to America, and no one in India makes it to Las Vegas. I want to see everything. And he did his damnedest to see everything. Like I said, he climbed one of those mountains out there at like 6 in the morning, came on back, and was like, hey, brother, let's go walk this trip. I'm like, oh, God, come on, man. I've been walking for like five hours with you yesterday. My legs are tired. I am no hotel homebody. I don't get... I've, it was my first time on the Strip, too. I mean, I've been to Las Vegas, but not on the Strip. And Jesus Christ, it's like living in a gambling Blade Runner world. It's really cool. You just walk everywhere. Big, beautiful screens everywhere, playing all this cool stuff. We saw Cirque du Soleil with Michael Jackson. We saw... We went to several clubs. I mean, we hung out. And, like, I mean, I can go out and I can party. This guy just did not stop. And his legs are tinier than mine. So, I mean, I know he's working, like, twice as hard as I am. Like, man, <laughs> you're wearing me out. I can't hang out. That guy was awesome. I hope to visit him in Mumbai. That'd be, that'd be amazing. I am making these amphora and pots to sell for the people. I am also making nice maps for people to get lost with. Most of all, I am painting fine pictures that never sell. The tailors do make <laughs> good brushes if you are lucky enough to have one. Mm hmm. My people are cunning and clever, I am thinking. There is not a one of us who does not make very much money by working all the time. In this way, we do not find the time to spend the money we make. We do not find the time to spend the money we make. This guy really... Okay, I've already beat this horse dead. Punjabi is lying to the east of here by many, many miles. It is in the land of Inda. Someday I hope to sell enough to be making my way back to there. At times I am most homesick. Oh my goodness, you are certainly a hero. This is very good. Because it is that Selmaria could use your help, I am thinking. <laughs> As they would say in the lands I have come from, Namaste. This means greetings to you. And I am hoping much to see you again. I am very sorry, but I do not need such a thing. You don't need money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am... Thank you, thank you. 
I'm just gonna buy whatever. Alright, so, uh... How do I get out of here? Welcome, he who will be king. I have no doubt that you shall be whatsoever you desire to become. Can I buy anything from you? Cancel... Kara? We are in agreement. <coughs> I accept your offer. I'll just buy it. I'm not even arguing that price anymore. What is the point? Hey there! How's the next king of Silmaria doing? Got some more money to invest, I hope? Maybe. A drachma saved is a drachma earned, I always say. 4,800. What is the point for investing? All right. All right. So here's the next big thing. How do I get to the Hydra Island? Well, I'm not sure I'm going to have to research that. A good Twitch streamer would just go ahead and end the video and not say that aloud, but I am not a good Twitch streamer. <laughs> I'm just having fun and doing my best and doing my fun playthroughs. However, I will have to end the video here, I am afraid, because I really have to pee and I feel like I'm about done for the day. So, doop, doop, doop. let me just do this, and I will research things so that way we know where to pick up and what to do. Any interesting facts that may come along the way, and I will see you in the next video.